Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Karina and I do fashion and styling videos as well as some hauls. And I also do weekly vlogs. So if you're into any of that, please consider subscribing. Today I'm gonna to do a tutorial on how I did these nails, which um, I have another video, I'll link it above, of how I did press on nails with a gel base coat and cured it. And I learned that from TikTok and I put a little disclaimer down there because it was really big on TikTok and then everyone was saying after the fact, like months later, that if you're doing that, that it could cause an allergic reaction, you should be using clear nails. I don't know if because I used a but a gel base versus the gel glue. I didn't have any reaction, I'm not quite sure. I did use that method a couple of times, never had any issues with it with both that pinky color nail I had and then a different like semi-clear nail. My dog is growling. If you hear her growling in the background, that's her. I went onto Amazon and seen lots of videos where people get the Beatles kit where you buy the, the extensions, the gel glue, and the little light to cure it. If you watched my previous video with those nails, I have a regular LED light that I would put my fingers in. So curing each nail was a little difficult because I'd have to like hold the lamp over, hold the nail, and it was like in this weird position. So beetles have this little like LED lamp that is just specifically for one finger and you literally can just put the nail and then put your finger in so there. As far as lasting power i think these are gonna hold up like a set of acrylics essentially a set of gel or acrylics to remove these nails you are going to have to soak them off in 100 percent acetone would not recommend ripping them off because that will damage your nail so if you do want to know how i got these nails then just keep on watching all right first things first is we're going to give ourselves a little manicure we're going to soak our nails for a little bit just to soften up that cuticle push our cuticle back then we're going to cut off the cuticle so we have a nice clean nail bed for application now i'm going to size my nails choosing the right nail for each finger you do want to make sure that the nail does go from one end to the other, that there's not any exposed nail on the side. So I've got them all laid out and now I'm going to start prepping my natural nail, starting off with the Nail Prep Dehydrator. The dehydrator is just a mixture of alcohol and acetone and it's just going to dry up any oil that your natural nail may have on it. Next, we're going to apply the primer, which I got the primer and dehydrator together in a set. We're doing a very light coat. I saw on TikTok that if you do too much of the primer, it kind of messes up how it adheres to the gel. So do a very light single coat. From all the videos I saw, I understand that you should be doing some type of filing down of the extension. So it gives some kind of texture and it has something to adhere to for the gel. Now comes the fun part, which is the actual gel glue that you're going to apply a coat on your nail. And then I'm also going to apply a thin coat on the actual extension, mostly just applying it on the area that's going to lay on your actual nail. I'm out of frame here, but I'm just flipping the nail over so I can get it on my nail. Once I press it down on my nail, I'll put it straight into the light. I'll hold it there just for a few seconds, more like five seconds, and then I'll let it cure under the light on its own. Then continue the same process with the rest of the nails, uh, applying it on the nail, applying it on the extension, and then curing it for 60 seconds. Once I've done each individual nail and cured them for 60 seconds, I do go back with my LED light and do another additional 60 seconds. Now we are going to prep the nails and get them ready for gel polish. I'm just buffing all of the shine off the extension and we are going to start off with one thin coat of the gel polish. Make sure you are cleaning up around the nail each time you put a coat before you go in to cure the gel polish just to make sure nothing gets stuck on the actual skin and then that starts to lift later. Thank you. 
Once I've done the first layer on all the nails, I will cure them and then put on my second layer also making sure that I clean up around the nails so there's not anything on the skin before I cure it at the end. I'm gonna add these little decal designs that come eight sheets in a pack for like six dollars also from Amazon. I chose the little smiley faces and I'm just using some really pointy tweezers to remove off of the little sheet and then apply it onto the nail by pressing it. I made the mistake by not pressing it with like my finger because I think that would have really smoothed it out at least all of the edges and it would have been much smoother when I put the clear polish on but don't make the mistake I did. They came out so cute with minimal effort on my part and here I'm just putting a clear top coat to make sure that they stay put and they don't come off. I did already apply a clear coat on all the rest of the nails and now I'm going to cure all of the nails at once and move on to the other hand. Doing the exact same steps we did on the other hand, doing the dehydrator, then the primer, the nails are already sized, so we're gonna do the little bit of texture on the inside so it has some grip. Then we're doing the gel glue on both the extension and the natural nail, and then curing it, of course, for 60 seconds, and then doing a full 60 seconds again for the entire hand. And voila, we're done. This is how they came out. I absolutely love them. And yeah, so if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.